Greetings. We were sent this 400 watt solar panel made by Boge RV to test out and review. So I'm excited to get it unpackaged and I'll give you a, a few features of the panel. We will be using the DIY power station to power our various saws and equipment and then when we get the pavilion built this will go on the roof of the pavilion to keep the power inverter charged So that's a really nice looking solar panel. As I mentioned before, it's 400 watts. And this panel has 10 bus bars, which means that it has 23% higher conversion rate than comparable panels. It also means it'll have a longer service life. This, with this panel or system, you can charge 12, 24, or 48 volt batteries if you wire several solar panels in series. The panel is built with A-plus solar cells and that means that there's no visible defects or cracks in the panel. It's compatible with your on-grid or off-grid inverters. So you can use it to power appliances in your home with your on grid inverter or as we're going to be using it over at the sawmill which is off grid to charge and power our equipment that we need by the sawmill it's designed to handle high wind and heavy snow loads so it should be a very durable panel and we'll be hooking it up and checking it out here and see how fast it charges our inverter in the next Part. I'm going to be installing a battery capacity voltage meter on the Power Queen battery. So at a quick glance I can see what percentage of charge I have. So as you can see we got the battery gauge installed and currently the battery is at 99%. We're going to be doing some cutting with the cutoff saw and we'll see how much that takes the percentage down. And then later today we'll be using the new Bose RV 400 watt solar panel to recharge the battery. Okay, these are scraps from the sawmill that were that I will be cutting into 16 inch pieces. And I'll be using them in our boiler.
I'll cut up my first uh, bucket load of scraps from the sawmill. The Power Queen battery went from 99% down to 95%. So that's a lot of cutting. Battery held up well. Okay, there's the second bucket load. And the battery went down from 95 to 91%. So it looks like it's going down about 4% per bucket load. We got load three, and the battery is down to 86%. That's correct. Here's load four, and we're down to 82%. Load number five, and we're down to 78%. This is load six, and we're down to 57%. Okay, on this DIY power station, you can see our Battery is down to 42%, and what we're going to be doing is plugging in the 400 watt Bose RV solar panel, and we're going to time how long it takes to fully charge this back. Is we are have a temporary setup for the solar panel top of our sawmill here. We don't have the pavilion done yet, and like I mentioned at one point. This solar panel will be mounted permanently on the roof of our pavilion. But for now, we're going to hook it up to the power station. And Lori's pulling out the cords to do that. And we're kind of just leave it in its original box so it has the padding. Yeah, it's padded underneath. Right? All right. We've hooked up. I'm glad we have long uh, connecting cords from the do-it-yourself power station. So, all right, we're connected now. Should I bring it around here, Steve? Sure, if you want to. So, Lori just connected to the charge controller that goes to the power station, and we'll, like I mentioned earlier, we'll monitor for you how long it takes for this to charge. So there's the charge controller. The, the PV solar. light's blinking, which means that it's, we're charging now. We got our do-it-yourself power station charged back up to 100% thanks to our 400 watt solar panel. We're really happy with how it worked.